A volcano in southwest Iceland has erupted, releasing streams of lava from under the Earth's surface. The fissure, which is 20 miles from the capital Reykjavik, is more than 500 metres long. It's the first eruption in the area in centuries and follows thousands of small earthquakes over recent weeks. Our Europe correspondent, Jean McKenzie, actually visited the volcano last week. The lava bursting through a long crack in the Earth's crust. The moment Icelanders have been bracing for turns into a spectacle rather than a threat. The nation has been waiting with bated breath for three weeks for it to happen, and it's been 15 months since seismic activity started increasing significantly on the Reykjanes Peninsula. Since the activity ratcheted up three weeks ago, Iceland has recorded more than 50,000 earthquakes, a sign this eruption was imminent. We visited the volcanic area just 20 miles from the capital Reykjavik last week. So the eruption is going to happen most likely just beyond that ridge. This island, which straddles two tectonic plates, is used to eruptions, but not here. This area has sat dormant for centuries. This is very different to the explosive eruption in 2010 that blanketed the skies of Europe in ash for weeks. The biggest threat this time is the pollution from the gases released, with residents being asked to keep their windows shut. People have been growing tired of these significant earthquakes that have constantly been keeping us awake. There's been growing anxiety and some residents were saying, if there's going to be an eruption, it might as well just happen. Icelanders have nicknamed these pretty eruptions tourist eruptions. Only with no tourists around to witness this one, it's the locals who get to marvel at their latest geological wonder. G. McKenzie, BBC News. It's truly beautiful.